hey boys and girls what's going on this is atafa here and today what we are going to do is we are going to make something like this this google sign in this is called a one tap sign in method so what this basically does is i'm on linkedin.com this is basically just an example and if i just click here it will just sign into my google account and now linkedin will just do its thing it's as simple as that and now we are going to implement this in our react app so how do we do that let's just try to do it right now so basically i'll just close this tab now what i'll do i'll just go to terminal i'll start making a react app so i'll go to documents i'll go to react apps and here i'll make a new react app in px create react app and i'll name it one tab now till till the time it's just making i'll just need to use the google apis so i'll just uh, search for google apis and it should show me yeah now it should the first link should go take, take me to the google apis now what you have to do if you don't have any project you need to make a project here so you can just make some new project by clicking here it's very easy you can just do it and now what i want to do is i want to go to credentials and in credentials you will get an option yeah here create credentials and what you need is the oauth client id so basically what oauth does is it basically just authenticates user on google accounts and it gives back data to you so this is some cool stuff so let's try to use this i'll press oauth client id and now it should just ask me some bunch of stuff so i'll just say web application i'll just give it another useless app basically we are just we don't have any use of this so that's why i'm just saying that another useless app <laughs> and now you need to add authorized javascript origins now this is important because you are going to use it in react at an end in a development mode you need to add these three things so basically http local is 3000 next should be http 127.0.0.1 of 3000 and the last should be HTTP localhost. Some might vary. I mean, some might work. Some might wo don't work. I mean, there's always some problem with these things. So you should always provide with port and without port because I just did with port and it, it just didn't work for me. I don't know if it will work for you, but you can always try and experiment with these things. So I just create now. So it's just loading auth client created now we will have the key right okay so that's cool now is the react app is okay now i'll go to one tab and now here i will just open visual studio code now here let's first of all get rid of some useless things we don't need right now I'll go to app.test.js. We don't need logo. We don't need setup. I'll just delete them. And now let's go back to app.js. Let's just remove everything here. We don't literally, we don't need anything. We'll just remove this app to lowercase. We will remove this logo import here. We will go to app.css. We will remove everything here will go to index.css uh, this is basically just a boilerplate for every react app trust me guys this is just so tiresome to do every video i might make make some plugin to do this automatically for me but for now let's just do it padding zero box sizing border box that's perfect now i'll go back to app.js i'll open the terminal i'll do npm start and let's wait for this app to get started now as soon as the white screen appears we know that the app is started perfect now we need to install another package so i'll tell you what package is react five react google one tap login so basically this is a huge package name that you need to install in order to use one tap login and this is pretty straightforward and it's so easy to use i'll show you react google one tab login right so i'll just open a split terminal here i'll write npm install react google one tab login holy moly a huge name 
let's wait for it to install hopefully i haven't misspelled it okay so now it's installed now what i can what, what i can do is i can just go here i'll just say import and now i can just import the thing but now i'll show you a little trick you can just write the name of the package so react google one tap plugin and now what you can go go here and press control space now you will automatically get whatever is available in the package so this is basically the hook i want to use so i just press this and I, what i'll do here basically i'll just use the hook so use google one tap login and now i need to pass something here so so here first of all on success what i'll do is basically just console log for now so basically this will return back a response right so i don't know let's just try and i'll just console log the response okay yeah this this is not equal to this is an object perfect and now on error and i need to do this and google account config and here this is an object i guess and here we have the i mean the yeah client id perfect and now we need to paste that thing here now let's go back to our browser by the way i started using brave it's quite good for me so yeah we won't discuss that here right now so let's go back to visual studio code i'll just paste in the client id let's just save this now let's get back to brave and you see that we get this now and let's get to console right now and let's see what happens if we authorize this now if i just press this account and try to verify so we get this thing right here you see this this is all the thing related to my google account so basically it just returns my name it just returns all of the stuff about my account i might just blur this out uh, i'm not sure i might uh, okay anyways there might be some useful things i might i don't i might not wanna share right with with you guys so yeah so these are all the things which get returned right now what we can do when the user is authorized we can print out the name here so let's try to do that let's go to here and now we will make some states so basically we will just make a name state and email state set name and here we will make a new use state and here we will just do this for now and in email we will make a separate for email we will make a set email and here we will do a use state and same thing now here we will just print them out so basically we won't get into styling here so i'll just say name i'll just give a br i know that's very ugly but hey just let's just do this and email let's just print this right now so what will happen is on success we want to set some state so let's do that now what i want to do is set name set name to be the name we got from the response so how do we get the name we get the given name so let's just copy this let's go back here and we'll just paste this here it's basically response.given name and in email we need to do set email it's the response dot email i guess it's let's just check response dot email yeah perfect now let's authorize this first i'll just reload the page and now let's authorize this and let's see what happens now you see we got this thing here right that's perfect now you know how you can implement google one tab this didn't even redirect or refresh your page it just it just did everything right into the same page and that's that's the cool thing about google one tab 
so basically you can just start using google one tap in your projects now it's very really cool thing but you might need to just look around with some security features of that you might you don't want to use this just in front end because there might be some security issues with this you might want to work with some OAuth tokens and everything that that would be just messy but this thing is perfect so yeah this is just an idea which i thought would be great for us to just do and maybe i'll just come up with some future ideas and then i can just make videos on them and yeah so basically that's that's what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to provide you as much value as i can and maybe i'm trying to do it right now so if you like my efforts just just do me a favor just click the subscribe button it helps for me and you can just also like the video if you really liked it and just share this video with other people so that people know what google one tap login is and if you want to talk to me or if you want to join the community i have made a special community it's a special discord server the link would be in the description box you can just go there and join my discord server so that was it for today guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace